Hey, welcome back to another Alex the Cat video. In this one, I'm catching you up on my game development journey and filling you in on the next game I'm making. Now let's get to it. I know I said I would go ahead and learn the Unreal Engine, and I have started that journey. But sadly, the things I'm able to make aren't complicated or good enough to be something I'd want to release. But making a project has helped me learn a ton of stuff essential for working in Unreal. That paired with Unity's changes in its policies, I think I'm actually ready to go back and work in Unity again. I won't fully trust them for a long time, but I'm too skilled with the engine to just quit it. So when I had the idea to make a roguelike Katamari game, I had two choices. Trudge through dev hell in Unreal to learn how to make this game, or simply make it with the things I already know how to do in Unity. Since I am quite lazy, I decided to just go ahead and test out my idea in the Unity game engine. It was easy enough to make the ball roll around and pick up objects by parenting them to the ball. It was also pretty easy to make the ball grow based on a value on the things you're picking up. In no time at all, I already had a fun little game where you could roll around and pick up objects. But this world looked kinda lame, and it wasn't really that fun. So I downloaded an asset pack and found some scenes that would be kinda fun to pick stuff up in. But how am I gonna make all of these assets pick upable. It's pretty simple actually. I'll use editor scripts. Writing scripts for the editor is a great way to automate a lot of different things that you may be doing in your game. For instance, I made an editor script that would automatically add a special component to make an object pick upable. But running this function on every object one by one was starting to become really tasking. So I made it affect every child of a selected object. Now I could just group objects together and make them all work with the game easily. But there was one last thing that made this really special. I also added functionality to the editor script to automatically figure out an object's volume based on the volume of the mesh. Now we actually had a game that somewhat represented Katamari. At this point I was pretty stoked so I posted my progress on Reddit. I got a small positive response and felt good about what I had made until I read a comment that almost ruined everything. Did you know that Bandai Namco has actually patented the game mechanics to Katamari? I know, simply rolling a ball around is patented? Who would have thought? But it can't be that simple. No. As I read further, it seemed that the patent was more about how the ball was deformed when picking stuff up, which is not how I'm handling the growth of my ball. So hopefully I'm not breaking any rules. But just in case, I also added this black hole mode just until I figure out if I'm breaking any patents. The next thing to do was to spice up our ball. Since I wanted to lean more into the black hole look, I purchased this asset of magical orbs. I felt that they looked super cool and would serve as fun things to unlock for the player. After replacing the ball, I wanted to recreate this cool little UI from Katamari that shows the object that we just picked up. In order to do this, I created a camera and then instantiate a copy of the item we just picked up in front of that camera. Then we also find the position of the item we just picked up and place a dot on the screen where it is. Lastly, we use a blank image to create a line between the dot and the UI representation of the item, making a cool Katamari game effect. I also scale up an outline of a circle for a small, cool pulse effect. And to finish it off, I scale and rotate the copy of the item and use a canvas group to fade the whole thing in and out. Next, I needed to make roguelike elements for my game. I started to brainstorm a few different upgrades I thought would be good for this type of game. Obviously, we need upgrades for increasing the size and speed of the ball, as well as increasing the time of each round but it was hard to come up with more upgrades. I ended up adding some for the boost and magnetism. I made a menu screen out of one of the scenes in an asset pack and added a little script to give it some motion. I made some menus to customize your orb with parts that you unlocked and also made a menu to buy upgrades. At this point, we were really only missing one thing, sounds. I added some free sounds for the pickup, size change, and object shake sound effects. And that brings us to now. This is as far as I've gotten in the last two months. I've always loved playing Katamari games, 
and I'm super excited to share what I've been working on with you all. Let me know what you think.